بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویورس ویلکم ٹو ماسٹرنگ اکاؤنٹنگ اسکلس ٹوڈے اور ٹاپک از ہاؤ ٹو کیلکولیٹ گریچوٹی دیٹ از اینڈ آف سروس بینیفٹس ایز پر یو اے ای لیبر لا ٹائپس آف لیبر کانٹریکٹ دیر آر مینلی ٹو ٹائپس آف لیبر کانٹریکٹس that companies are using to hire employees one is limited contract and the other is unlimited contract the main differences among both type of contracts lies in the provisions for end of service and termination how to calculate gratuity under limited contract less than one year of service Leaving work before completing one year of service means that you are not entitled to any gratuity pay between one year and five year of service. Employee is entitled to gratuity pay based on 21 days basic salary for each year of work, five or more years of service. Employee is entitled to gratuity pay based on 30 days basic salary for each year of work how to calculate gratuity under unlimited contracts under unlimited contracts there are two types of conditions one if employer terminates the contract and the second one if employee terminates the contract if employer terminates the contract gratuity will be calculated same as under limited contract and if the employee terminates the contract then less than one year of service leaving work before completing one year of service means that you are not entitled to any gratuity pay between one a one year and three years of service employee is entitled to one third of the 21 days basic pay Between three years and five years of service, employees in, is entitled to two-thirds of the 21 days basic pay, five or more years of service. Employee is entitled to full 21 days basic pay. UAE Gratuity Calculator Excel file. Now I am going to share with you an Excel file. for gratuity calculations this file can be downloaded from the google drive link provided in the description of this video if you are facing any problem in downloading the file you may write your email in the comment box i will share it with you okay this is the uae gratuity calculator excel file okay so this file is very simple we have all of our, our employees name their type of contract is it limited or unlimited their date of joining the basic pay the allowances i i have here but i did i hide it because in gratuity calculation only the basic pay will be used okay and uh, the st this starting date is same as per the joining date okay and this is the ending date ending date means till which date you want to see the gratuity of your employee so just ev uh, every any time when you want to see the gratuity of any time uh, period for your employee like you want to see the 30 of april you want to see as 30 of may 2021 or 30 of june just you need to come here and put the date whatever you want 30 of june 2021 i will just put the date and it will calculate for me the gratuity for mr ahmed khan okay 116000 the figure is changed okay i want to apply this to all other employees also okay so if i'm i'm going to apply all the gratuity payable amounts are changed for each employee okay so it is very simple so whenever you want you come here and put the date till which date you want to see the gratuity liability for each of the employee you just put the date it will calculate for you okay here is a different formula here limited contract has different formula 
okay with if condition and for the unlimited contract it is it has different formula if you have any other employee for unlimited or limited you can just insert a row and put the date uh, uh, put the figures what is his basic salary okay put the date of his joining uh, put the date of the ending contract and then you can see the figure uh, if it is limited copy the formula for the limited if it is unlimited copy the formula what I have right here for the unlimited contract okay and uh, now I am going to unhide some columns okay I have some calculated columns how this figure is calculating I will explain you explain you a little bit about that also okay if I will unhide the columns I can see here is the monthly expense coming okay this is year to date March end of service liability okay and this is year to date this is the calculated field okay this is not the calculated field this I will just copy from here at each month end and I will make paste special only the values I will paste okay not the formula then this will uh, and it will actually give me the monthly expense for each employee like this employee I need to record 3750 this 647 this 625 this 400 this is my monthly expense I put the formula that from the year to date April 2021 minus year to date March it will give me the expense what I need to record on 30 of April in my books of accounts and what is the journal entry I need to pass this if I am maintaining each separate GL for each employee gratuity liability then I need to give debit to the expense with the total figure and end of service each employee ledger I will give the credit with the particular amount for that employee life for Ahmad Khan 3750 how much I have here 3750 okay so this will be the total expense and total liability I will give the credit if I am not maintaining the GL ledger separate GL ledger for each employee then I can write here end of service expense liability uh, end of service expense is debit and end of service payable liability account will be credit with the amount okay so this uh, uh, this EOS uh, actually I write for end of service EOS with each employee GL I mentioned that okay this is the end of service account so I just write a small code EOS for Ahmad Khan EOS for Jawad Habib EOS for I mentioned this in my chart of account like this okay you can do as uh, you are easy if you are using the course or anything else you can say se separated this these accounts as per your requirement okay so this is uh, here I have uh, I have converted the period of job of each employee in the months okay I just put the formula is equal to dated if h5 means his starting date and the month space i5 the ending date and then I want it to convert uh, in the Excel convert for me into the months okay so this Excel converted for me that this employee Ahmad Khan has 111 months total uh, job period this 52 months this 84 months this 80 74 okay then I have cre created monthly expense rate if the employee job is under uh, employees working under limited contract and he worked less than five years then this will be the rate if he worked five years or above this will be his rate if unlimited contract then from first for first three years his rate will be like this one third of the 21 days basic salary then from three to five two third of the 21 days of basic salary then in the fifth year 21 days full basic salary he will get so this is his monthly rate how his gratuity will be calculated then I put the formula here for the if condition for limited contract separate formula for unlimited contract separate formula okay guys I hope you will enjoy this video 
please hit like and don't forget to subscribe our channel to find out more informative stuff if you have any question related to this topic in the video feel free to contact us and write the comment in the comment box we will definitely get back to you thank you so much and stay connected